What's up? This is Audrey. I found a big problem when I was generating electricity from hydrogen using the horizon fuel cell. Let's look at the process of making electricity using hydrogen. I will use an oscilloscope like this one to accurately measure the charging and discharging of electricity in a hydrogen battery. The CLEA makes this. Hydrogen is in the hydrogen tank about 18 milliliters based on the inner tank water level, approximately 10 milliliters based on the outer tank water level. Now I will connect the fuel cell to the car kit. It uses hydrogen oxygen to generate electricity and uses the electricity to power the car's motor and LEDs. As electrical energy is consumed, hydrogen and oxygen gradually decrease. Now let me play the video quickly. After about 1 minute and 55 seconds, the motor stops and the LEDs turn off because there is insufficient electricity. However, at this time, you can see a lot of hydrogen and oxygen in the tanks. You can see this more accurately by looking at the voltage graph. The moment the fuel cell and the car kit are connected, the voltage rises and outputs stably at about 0.75 volts, and then it slowly starts to fall. After 1 minute and 30 seconds, it starts to drop rapidly, and at 1 minute and 55 seconds, it drops below 0.1 volt and turns off. If you look closely at the hydrogen tank, 14 milliliters of hydrogen is left based on the water level inside, about 7 milliliters based on the water level outside. In practice, about 3 milliliters of hydrogen is used, and more is left. Even so, no more electricity was being made, so the motors and LEDs in the car kit stopped. Why? The first probable cause may be that you haven't discharged the water from generating electricity. The water goes out through the lower outlet on the oxygen side of the fuel cell. However, according to the manual, this part is blocked and tested since the water put in for electrosis can leak. I'll open the outlet down the oxygen side and see what happens. When I open the outlet, a few drops of water come out, but no electricity is generated. The reason electricity was not made was not because water produced by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen was not discharged. Looking at the voltage, opening the lower outlet and the oxygen side doesn't raise the voltage particularly. The second probable cause is that hydrogen and oxygen cannot enter because the fuel cell is full of H2O, which is made by combining hydrogen and oxygen. Theoretically, on the oxygen side, hydrogen and oxygen are combined with changing into gaseous or liquid water. But in reality, H2O also exists on the hydrogen side. This time, I will also open the lower exit on the hydrogen side. As soon as I open the cap, Electricity starts to be made. Water droplets fall from the lower outlet on the hydrogen side. The carcass motors and LEDs light up at about 2 minutes and 35 seconds. You can see this more clearly by looking at the voltage graph. When I open the outlet, the voltage goes up to 0.7 volt and stays constant. Then, after about 1 minute, the voltage drops to 0.2 volts and the motor and LED operate weakly. Even if I touch the outlet tube on the oxygen side, the voltage does not rise. When I tap the outlet tube on the hydrogen side, the voltage goes up to 0.7 volt again, and the motor and LEDs start working. After about 40 seconds, the voltage drops, and when you flick the tube again, the voltage rises again. During this process, the hydrogen and oxygen in the tanks continue to decrease. About 5 minutes after starting the experiment, hydrogen and oxygen were exhausted in the hydrogen and oxygen tanks. Nothing happens anymore when I flick the hydrogen outlet tube. Let me conclude. When generating electricity with Horizon's fuel cell, after about 2 minutes, oxygen and hydrogen combine the oxygen side to make H2O gas and liquid, and some H2O goes over to the hydrogen side. Since the fuel cell is full of H2O, even if there is a lot of hydrogen and oxygen in the tanks, hydrogen and oxygen cannot react in the fuel cell anymore, so electricity cannot be made. 
FH2O is removed from the lower outlet on the hydrogen side, electricity can be continuously generated. Then, how about removing the tube cap from the beginning? The hydrogen in the tank runs out all at once, making it impossible to generate electricity. Likewise, suppose you open the tube cap in a state where H2O is not sufficiently generated on the hydrogen side in the middle of the experiment. In that case, hydrogen may escape from the hydrogen tank, so be careful. In fact, this phenomenon is not unique to the horizon fuel cell kit. Theoretically, water is generated only on the oxygen side, which is the anode. However, in reality, water is produced on the oxygen side as it passes through the membrane, separating the anode and cathode, and this is called a flood. Next time, I will explain the principle of flooding in fuel cells and how to solve it. Thank you for watching. Audrey's welcome so far. <laughs>